everybody so I am going over uh, this is page four I believe it's the third page of the math packet so let's do it here so here it wants us to add and circle the even sum so again bear with me as I try to write with this pen so we're gonna start over here nine plus zero is nine four plus three is seven and 2 plus 1 is 3. So this one would be 379. Over here I have 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. Put the 1 over here. 2 over here. I have 2 plus 1 is 3. Plus 1 is 4. Oh my. I don't know why they make this pen so difficult to use. Okay. And over here we have 8 plus 5, which is 13. Five plus that one would be six. And four plus one would be when is that? It's supposed to be a six. Just wanting to change my numbers and four plus one is five. That one would be 563. Over here we have six plus one is seven. Nine plus seven. So count up from nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then 3 plus 2 is 5, plus that 1 would be 6. Doesn't like my 6s for some reason. And last one of these. Why does it keep changing my 6? There we go. Okay. We have 9 plus 3 is 12. 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 6 would be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we have 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 4 would be 8. Okay, on this part it rounds, wants us to round each number to the nearest 10. So in this case we have a 2 in the tens place, so we would need to look at this 7. Now the rule says if the number to the right of the rounding digit is a five or greater that we're going to round up. So this two will become a three and everything to the right of the rounding digit will become a zero. So this would be 30. Here we have 43, the four is in the tens place. This is a three, which is less than five. So this four will stay as a four and the three will become a zero. Here we have 127. The two is in the tens place here. So we need to look to the digit to the right, which is a seven. So because this is greater than five, we're gonna round up the three. So the one is to the left of the rounding place, so it's gonna stay the same. The two becomes a three and the seven becomes a zero. 243, the four is in the tens place. The three is less than five, the two stays the same, the four stays the same, and I'm always having a hard time with these fours. And the three becomes a zero. 89, so here the eight is in the tens place. We have a nine to the right of the rounding digit, which is greater than five. So the eight will become a nine and this will become a zero. And once again, it wants to change my numbers. Is that supposed to be a zero? Three hundred eighty-nine. We have an eight in the tens place. We have a nine to the right of it, so this is going to round up. So this will become three hundred and ninety. Once again, it's changing my numbers. Let's fix that. It should be a 
zero. I think I'm gonna try using a text box for this one just to make it a little easier. So 32, we have a three in the tens place. We have a two to the right of that rounding place. So this number will stay the same and the two will become a zero. 632, we have a three in the tens place. We have a two to the right of the rounding place. So this three will stay the same. So it'll be 630. Move that text box over here. 165, we have a six in the tens place. We have a five to the right of the rounding place. So if the rule says if this number is five or greater, this rounds up, so this will be 170. I think these text boxes are working a lot better. So this time it wants us to round to the nearest hundred. So we need to find the hundreds place, ones, tens, hundreds. The same rule applies as up here. We look to the number to the right of the rounding place, which in this case is a two. So the three will be the theme and these two numbers will become zeros. Here we have 97. So in this case, it's like we have a zero in the hundreds place because there's nothing there. So I'm gonna look at the nine. The rule says that if this is five or greater, this rounds up, so this will become 100. Here we have 241. We have a two in the hundreds place, so I look at the four. It's less than five. I'm going to round down to 200. 832, eight in the hundreds place, three in the tens place. The eight is going to stay the same. It will round to 800. 902, nine in the hundreds place, zero in the tens place. It's going to round down to 900. 478, we have a four in the hundreds place, seven in the tens place. This is greater than five, so this is gonna round up to 500. 264, two in the hundreds place, six in the tens place. This is gonna cause this to round up to 300. 185, one in the hundreds place, eight in the tens place. The eight is gonna cause this to round up to a two, so it will be 200. And here we have 357, three in the hundreds place, five in the tens place. The five will make this round up to 400. Don't have a lot of room down here, but let's see. Solve the problem by rounding to the nearest 10. I have 36 pink popsicles, 12 green popsicles, and 27 blue popsicles. Do I have enough popsicles for 80 family members? So 36 is going to round to 40. Let me just put some text box in again. So 40. Stretch this out here. 40. I guess I can't do that. Another one. 12 rounded to the nearest 10 will be 10. I'm trying to move this over, but it's not cooperating. 27 will round to 30. So it wants to know if we have enough for 80 family members, so I need to add this up. So 40 plus 10 would be 50. 50 plus 30 would be 80, so I would have exactly enough for my 80 family members. So I'm just going to squeeze in a, oops, a yes over here. All right, and that is it for this page. I am going to start using more text boxes, I think, and less of this writing. So thank you for watching.